Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Val and today we will be taking a look at a wonderful microphone. If you are looking to upgrade your audio, then this little guy here, well, actually it's not so little, but yeah, this microphone is the HyperX Duocast and I've chosen this from multiple other options because of uh, a couple of reasons which I will explain to you in this video. So there are plenty of things to say about this microphone and we're gonna start with the build quality. Let's go! The microphone comes with a pretty plain box and there is your microphone, a little bit of a manual, the charging cable and one accessory to help you mount it to a boom arm. My first impressions with this microphone is that its uh, build quality is pretty solid and uh, the stand as well as the microphone give me a really premium feel when I'm holding them in my hand. Not too light but not too heavy as well at 243 grams. There is your USB charging port as well as a uh, port to plug in your headphones and you can control the gain uh, easily on the back of the microphone <laughs> and it's also wobbly. And if I give you any value with this uh, video, then I would really appreciate it if you like, comment and subscribe to my channel, as it will really help me to create even more amazing videos for you guys. Thank you so much. And now let's get back to the video. One other great thing about this microphone is that it has a built-in pop filter that removes all of the hisses and the P's and the S and all of the annoying sounds. And there is also really good cable management due to the way that HyperX have designed this stand and the microphone overall and we can't forget about the RGB. Pressing the button on the back will also change the microphone from cardioid to omnidirectional depending on your needs. Alright guys, so here is the portion of the video where I will explain to you about the software of the microphone and of course the microphone test. So when it comes to this uh, microphone, it has a couple of settings that you can tweak. There is the HyperX uh, Duocast uh, software, the Ingenuity software, I'm sorry, uh, HyperX Ingenuity and through it you can control all of your HyperX devices, but in this case only the microphone. As you can see here, I have set uh, the microphone to 50 gain but uh, you can tweak that a little bit according to your setting. You can keep this microphone on its regular stand, as you can see here, or yet better, if you have a boom arm, you can also mount it to a boom arm. Here is the microphone connected to a boom arm. I'm speaking right in front of it and it's at 50% uh, gain, as you can see here, but I wanted to go into more details about this. So when you open the software and install the drivers, you're gonna see that you also have filters here. Now these filters, I usually don't like them so much. Now, if you enable everything here, as you can see here, the sound changes completely and uh, no, not for the better, to be honest. Uh, it kind of makes the audio more muddy, in my opinion. And this is with the uh, low setting of uh, the noise cancellation. If I turn it up all the way up to high, it will start cutting off even more of my voice. And this is helpful in some situations, but for most of you people, you probably want the clearest possible audio. So I suggest uh, removing all of these. I personally found out that by keeping the gain at around 30 and just speaking a little bit more into the microphone and in the front, because this is a cardioid microphone, uh, you're gonna get the best quality possible from it. And there is also a second setting by pressing the button on the back, it's gonna make it omnidirectional. And when it's omnidirectional, it's a little bit different. It catches more sound all around you. So it's uh, better for podcasts and for, for conversations, dialogues and stuff like that between multiple people. But I assume that most people would personally prefer to use it as uh, cardioid and I love how this microphone sounds. Let me just raise it a little bit uh, to 50 again, all the way up to 100 gain. Now that's quite loud, so I really don't recommend you. You'd have to step back in order to <laughs> have a normal voice. But yeah, keeping it to 50 or 40 or something like that should give you the best results. 
Now you also have the option to plug in your headphones and to listen to the microphone and how it sounds and it's that's really convenient uh, but I don't personally use it and you can also control the lights from here uh, there is uh, plenty of things that you can mess around with I really like this uh, flowing RGB mode effect so I prefer that but it's all up to you you can play around with that and sync it to other devices as well as you would expect, muting and, and, and unmuting the microphone also works quite nice. It's always super responsive, even if your finger is just a little bit above the sensor. And the RGB goes off, you, got, you get muted and you can't... So, yeah, perfectly nice, responsive, love this microphone, 10 out of 10. It's crazy how you can use this microphone for basically anything from podcasts, voiceovers, singing, ASMR. Uh, I don't think it has any flaws, even compared to its uh, bigger brother, the Quadcast. And the Quadcast is usually a lot more expensive, but not necessarily better than this one. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. So there you have it guys, the HyperX Duocast. I hope that you loved this video and if you did then I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel. It would really help me out to grow it more and create more amazing content for you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a nice day.